Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is a Home Bargains haul. One of my favourite shops is Home Bargains. You probably can tell that by the rest of the videos on my channel. But I do love a Home Bargains trip. I'm excited because I've actually been shopping and I'm filming today and I'm going to edit today and upload this video this evening. So I feel like that is actually a lot more helpful than filming in advance because I can actually show you what I found in Home Bargains today as you're watching this. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let's just get into it. Make sure you grab yourselves a hot drink and relax and enjoy the video. I've got, uh, quite boring actually, just a cup of tea today, but um, I'm going to enjoy it. I do love a cup of tea. So I have some Christmassy bits. Um, I have a little bit of home decor, cleaning, beauty stuff. I have a whole range of things to show you. So I think I should stop blabbering on and just get into it. Okay, so first up, these were right in the entrance when I walked in. Here's a couple of like little hamper baskets. They're the ones that you just use for, you know, putting presents in, putting a cellophane around it and making them look all pretty. They're not really like home decor baskets. You can definitely feel the difference. They're quite light and like sort of cheap feeling. So definitely designed for gifting but I love making hampers for people's Christmas presents because I can never decide on one present. So I like to just get a little hamper and put all of their favorite bits into it and then present it. And I think they look really nice as a gift as well. So these were £2.99 each and they are really nice. They do actually have like a nice felt label on them with like the to and from bit on the back. So definitely perfect for like gifting if you don't quite know what to give someone. And also I find making hampers for Christmas presents a really affordable way of giving a gift. Like I normally give myself a limit of what I'm gonna spend and normally I'd, maybe I'd spend about 20 pound per hamper. Um, but then you can fill it with lots of little bits and it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving because there's so many bits for people to open and look at and yeah it's just a nice fun interesting gift and when I saw these I thought I need to get them now before they all go. Okay next up sticking with the Christmas theme I did pick myself up an advent calendar but it's not any advent calendar it is actually a wax melt advent calendar and I just loved the idea of this. I thought as soon as it gets the 1st of December, I can have a different wax melt each day. And all of the wax melts on it are all like festive ones. Oh, we actually have a spice pumpkin one here. Ooh, that's exciting. I'll read a couple out because they sound so good. We've got festive vanilla, fireside glow, home baking, mulled wine, apple cinnamon, frankincense. They all sound so good. Christmas magnolia. Oh. I cannot wait to open this up. Um, it is by the brand Air Pure, which is, I think, I don't know if it's just a Home Bargains brand, but they always have Air Pure stuff in Home Bargains. Um, but even when I walked past the shelf where these were on, I could smell the wax melt. So hopefully they're gonna be nice and strong. I think normally like each wax melt would last something like three hours or something like that. But I just thought this was such a great idea for a little gift to myself and just to have the house smelling like Christmas throughout the whole of December. So yeah, really happy with this one. It was £5.99 and you get 24, maybe you get 25. No, you get 24 wax melts in the calendar. Okay. Okay, next up, a bit of home decor. I actually have this little table with um, like seagrass and I just love it. This is like totally the vibe that I'm going for in my home at the moment, like the black and the seagrass. It just looks so gorgeous together. Um, and this actually feels like quite nice quality. It's quite low, but it sort of feels heavy-ish. It's not like the best quality thing. It was only £12.99, so it was a right bargain. Um, so yeah, it's not the most top quality thing, but it definitely feels good enough, you know, to just place a few bits on, just like a home decor piece. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. They had a few other bits in the same range as well. So if you enjoy these kind of like color tones, definitely check out Home Bargains. It's the um, Jeff Banks Port of Call range. So next up, I have another piece of home decor. This is from the Jeff Banks Port of Call range again. And I really love this piece. It was kind of a bit alone on the shelf um, and it didn't stand out that much, but I thought, you know what? I actually think that is a really, really nice vase. It's like textured down the bottom and then it's like smooth here, but I just love the shape of it. And I also really like the color. I feel like it's really autumnal, good for the like autumn winter season. And I think it was only £3.99, so a bit of a bargain 
in but I think this will look really nice with like a bit of pampas grass in it or some green kind of like foliage I just think it's a really gorgeous little vase like even with the pampas grass that's behind me there like that would look really nice it's like a little set together um I did only have one in there left so I don't know whether these are like an old thing or whether they're new in but yeah I managed to grab one and I do think it is really nice it's kind of one of those home decor bits so that you'd probably walk past but actually if you style it up I think you could make it look quite nice and pretty and for 3 dollars I picked it up okay so next up I have a couple of like tech bits I don't know if it's tech bits it's kind of like a light that you fix on to your phone so you can basically hold it like a sort of selfie light um but it attaches to your phone and then the LED light is at the top and this one I have not seen before and this actually looks really cool because it's quite small and I do quite like a square LED light instead of a ring light I just prefer the way like it lights up the room I think ring lights focus a lot on the face um, but ones like this actually kind of light the space all around you up I mean I haven't tried it yet so I don't know how good it is it was only £7.99 it feels quite weighty in the box I think it'll be like decent quality it's from the brand Equatech um, it has rechargeable batteries it has three colour modes and the brightness is adjustable on it so I think it's going to be pretty good um, I've got this because I really really want to try and do more Instagram stuff I'm so bad on Instagram I'll leave my Instagram link down below if you're interested but I'm just really bad with posting on there. I'm trying to get better at it. Um, but I do think I need something like this to kind of encourage me. And also lighting makes the quality of your pictures look so much better. And I think on Instagram it is kind of all about high quality pictures. That's what people want to see, isn't it? So I am going to try and up my game on Instagram. Do some reels and stuff with this. Maybe like with the dogs and that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But... This is gonna make me do it. So from the same range, I also picked up this makeup mirror light. It's basically just little bulbs that you stick on your mirror. So in my dressing room, I do have a mirror, but I don't have any lights on it. The lighting is really bad. And when I get up early, which is not very often, but when I do get up early, I need to do my makeup, I cannot see a thing. I don't ever put the ceiling lights on because they like, I don't know, I can't do my makeup with ceiling lights. It needs to be a light in my face. Anyway, long story short, that is why I picked up these lights. They are battery operated, which is not ideal. I'd rather ones that I plug in. But I thought, well, I suppose it's easy. Um, you don't have to worry about wires or anything. So you basically just stick them to the top of your light and you put, how many batteries? I think it takes three AA batteries. Oh, it requires four AA batteries. So quite a lot of batteries. But it does say on it, it's natural light illumination perfect for makeup application so yeah it's probably just what I need okay so next up I've just got some shampoo I have really been enjoying this vo5 shampoo um, this is the give me moisture one and it says infused with five vital oils and it's for intense hydration for dry hair and um, since I've been getting highlights done my hair is so dry definitely not going to continue my highlights I'm just going to let them grow out my roots are already growing out this is my natural hair color here and the highlights are just going to grow out so I think I'm just going to let them be kind of like that balayage look because I can't cope with the way that they make my hair feel like they just feel crispy so um this has actually been really helping to actually use a hydrating shampoo um as well as like conditioner and masks and stuff but yeah um this one's really good this is a bigger one actually this is 400 ml I think it was £1.49 so pretty good price for such like a big bottle okay next I need to know if any of you have actually used this before this is it says it's new so maybe you haven't maybe I'm the first one to find it <laughs> probably not but this is the pink stuff um, laundry detergent so this is their non bio one in a gel and I was very excited to try this out. I do love the Pink Stuff products. It says it does 30 washes. It's gentle next to precious skin. Um, and it says it has seven days of freshness. I don't know what it smells like. Let's have a sp It doesn't actually say the scent on it. So I'm guessing it... Oh, it's pink. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it basically just smells exactly the same as the Pink Stuff, you know, cleaning spray. So really excited to use that. It was only £2.79 as well. So I feel like that's quite a good price for it. Especially where it does 30 washes. 
I'm just stopping for a quick tea break. I'm talking so fast. Okay, next I have the Zoflora Multi-Purpose Disinfectant Cleaner. I did feature one of these in a video probably about a month or so ago. I really, really like the Zoflora spray. I love the fact they're all like nicely scented. The only thing I would say is like the spray is a little bit bad quality. Well, it was on my last one. It kind of broke quite quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure about the quality of it, but I still love the fragrance and today I found one in winter spice fragrance so I was like yes I have to get that one. I really really want over the winter the house just to smell like Christmas every day you walk in the front door. That was Belle sneezing by the way. Billy? Oh no it's Dylan sneezing. I haven't even sprayed it. I think he thinks I'm gonna spray that like he, basically in the lounge where they are. Dylan I haven't sprayed it. You're being dramatic. He's looking at it like, don't you spray that. He hates anything spray. Um, and whenever I spray the lounge with stuff, I always make sure the dogs are out and everything has to dry before they're allowed back in and all of that. But the minute I walk in the room with it, he knows that it's like some kind of cleaning product and he just does not like it. So he starts sneezing, but I have not sprayed it. And he's laying there sneezing, so. Part of me thinks actually he's just a very dramatic little dog. But yes, this is the winter spice one and it does smell, I won't spray it, I'll sniff it from the bottle, but it does smell really good. Oh, cinnamon, cloves, bit of apple I reckon. Oh, it does smell lovely. Don't jump up there because the candle on the bed, you set the place on fire. Hey Belle, you're too big, aren't you, and hairy? Okay, you're not missing out, Belle. Okay, next up I have the Febreze Spice Apple one. It does say limited edition, but they do bring this one out every year. Oh, don't mind Dylan, he's just come to join us. After all that dramatic sneezing, now you're coming up here smelling everything. So these are the ones that go in the little, it's the Three Volution, and I do love the Free Volution. I use it in the house and the scent does work really well because it like changes scent every so often. When you walk in the room to a new scent, you like really notice it. So I do really enjoy these. This was £1.99 for one refill. He's just laid down behind me now. He's settled down. You right, Dylan? You okay? So cute. He just matches this room so well, doesn't he? Okay, next up, a bit of a boring one. I have these two Nivea body washes. They are the coconut and jojoba oil. I do really enjoy these ones. They're like nice and thick and creamy and the scent is nice. These were 99p each. Okay, I have another wintry fragrance thing to try. This is the Surf Concentrated Liquid Detergent. Oh no, I thought this was um, fabric softener. Oh well, this is actually liquid detergent um, and it is in the fragrance Winter Sparkle with spiced orange and amber and the bottle is just very festive and wintry and yeah I just love it I did smell it in the shop it says this is limited edition I don't I haven't seen this one before so I don't know if it's been out already well shh oh it does smell really good though and that one says it does 24 washes so I have a lot of detergent and I have no fabric softener now that was £2.99 so next up I have some beauty bits to show you I've got this pack of cotton pads these were 99p and they're the square one not very exciting then I picked up this St. Moritz um, Fast Tan, and this is the one hour tan. So I wanted to try this one because I just feel a bit like bad whenever, because we have white bedding and I like to do an overnight tan because they work really well, but it does like get all over the bed and it smells and I have to wash everything. So I thought I would try this one out because it's the hour tan, or you can leave it one, two or three hours, depending on how dark you want it. But I thought I could actually do this of an evening. Guys, why do you need to fight now? <laughs> They're just like having a fight and I'm trying to film a video. Honestly, it's like having children. I mean, I don't have children. I don't really know what that's like. But I'm sure whenever you're trying to do something, children and dogs just like to get involved. Do you really need to be doing this while I'm trying to film a video? Oh, they've heard a fly now. 
That'll keep them quiet. So anyway, the St. Moritz. So I thought I would give this one a go and see if it does actually work. I have tried one hour tans before and sometimes you just put them all on, go to all the effort, you get in the shower, wash it off and literally you have no colour. So I don't know if it's going to work, but it was only, I think it was like £2.99, yeah, £2.99. So I thought it was worth a try for that price. And then last up, I picked up this brow pencil. This is a new brand that I haven't seen in Home Bargains before. The brand is called Sunkiss, and they did have some other stuff in there. They had some uh, makeup powders. I think they had some brushes and stuff. But I picked up the eye pencil because I actually, they had like a tester one there. And I looked at the colour and it did like the perfect colour. It's one of those pencils where it has a little spoolie on one end and then it has the brush on the other end. So this is the colour of it, which I really like. It's like a dark, ashy brown. The one I've got at the moment, I feel is slightly too warm. And then on the other end, you have the little spoolie there. Um, and it's quite big, so I think you're going to get like quite a lot. And it was only £1.99. No, it was only 99p, which is an absolute bargain. I think it said on the label it's normally 5 99 or something. Um, but yeah, 99p, I thought oh, I'll give that one a go. I'm constantly searching for brow products that I love. I'm always changing them. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this one works out. Hopefully it's good because I'd be happy with that, 99p. So guys, that is everything that I picked up from Home Bargains today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And if you aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe. I have I have noticed on my YouTube analytics that most of the people that are watching my videos, maybe like half of the people that are watching them aren't subscribed. So if you do regularly watch my videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.